In the previous video from a few weeks ago, we learned how to set up Prometheus and Grafana for AKS. Now we're going to learn how to do it for EKS. So first things first, I need to pull down my cube config for EKS. I'm going to run AWS, EKS, region, US East 1, update cube config, and then I'm going to specify the name of my Kubernetes cluster or my EKS cluster rather. All right, and if I run kubectl get nodes just to confirm we are on EKS, yep, good to go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna have to do something a little bit different from the previous video. The previous video on AKS, the metric server is available. On EKS, it isn't. So we're gonna actually run the configuration directly from Kubernetes to set up this metrics server. Now to just confirm that it's not already there, what we're gonna do is run kubectl, get pods, namespace, cube system. And we can see that the metric server is not there. So now let's run this command here. Well, it's actually the Kubernetes manifest that's going to generate all this information for us for the metric server. So now if I run that again, we can now see that the metric server is here. It's not available just yet. We'll give it a few minutes. Well, maybe a few seconds and it should be up and running for us. All right, and after about 34 seconds or so, we can see that the metric server is up and running. We can run kubectl, get deployments, namespace, cube system, and we can see our deployment here for our metric server. So now let's go ahead and actually run the Helm chart for Prometheus and Grafana. So we're gonna go ahead and run that. I already have that available, which is great. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install the Helm chart. I'm gonna call it Prometheus. I'm gonna create the monitoring namespace. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different here. I'm actually going to set the configuration, how to take out those asterisks there. <laughs> I'm gonna set the configuration for our persistent volume to point to the GP2 storage class. And that's specifically, of course, for EKS. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a few minutes here to completely configure. All right, and as we can see, it was deployed. So we'll run a kubectl get all on the monitoring namespace. And we can see Prometheus and Grafana, the services, the pods, all that good stuff is officially deployed. So now let's go ahead and check on Prometheus. So we're gonna do a kubectl port forward against the Prometheus server over port 4001. All right, so now I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna head over to a web browser so we can check out Prometheus. All right, so I'm at Prometheus here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to status, I'm gonna go to targets, and as we can see, everything is officially up and running in terms of Prometheus running and collecting metrics for everything from our kubelet to our operators to our actual metrics endpoint. And that's how you can get Prometheus and Grafana up and running on EKS. Thank you for watching.